This presentation will cover the basic signal flow in an Apache Labs NN G2. Specifically, the focus will be on the received signal path from a user perspective. The idea is not to be rigorous or too technically detailed. That level of in-depth coverage can be found elsewhere on the internet. The Apache Labs NN G2 amateur radio transceiver is a modern direct conversion software-defined transceiver that covers the HF bands plus 6 meters. The transceiver utilizes the Saturn FPGA board with integrated DSP processing and a Raspberry Pi processor. The Anand G2 is designed to work with several client software-defined radio applications. Notice that the data is streamed by a 1 Gbps Ethernet cable from the Anand G2 to the SDR application. A very popular SDR app that runs on the computer is Thetis, and that will be covered here. It connects to the receiver data streams and provides further signal processing to reduce noise, select signals of interest, and demodulate them. So right now, we have the Thetas display showing no sound, and that's because it's muted. As soon as we go ahead and unmute it, we start getting signals. In this point now, we would go ahead and go into WSJTX. But before we do that, we have to channel our data from Thetas over to WSJTX. Well, what do we use? Well, we use a program called Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter Banana is a free application that is useful in channeling and controlling audio and digital signals from hardware and software to hardware and software in your PC. And notice this is uh, digital audio signals that we're talking about here. Audio files in particular refer to it as a mixing board for your PC. I think of it as a patch panel in software. And once we have it, we notice that we're going to be going from Thetas over to WSJTX in two streams. One, the audio, which uses the virtual audio cable or VAC, and the other one, the CAT control. CAT control uses a virtual serial port pair, COM21 and COM22. Remember, this is strictly inside the software. So we have to use another application to generate the virtual serial port. We'll skip that part right now and concentrate on voice meter banana. The voice meter banana signal flow is, in a nutshell, consisting of two parts. It consists of a physical bus and a virtual bus. The physical audio sources, in my case, were the Tonor USB mic and the PC speakers. So launching voice meter banana, we see here that I define the mic as hardware input one, and uh, A1 is the physical bus connection, and the speakers are hardware out. A1 is coming out of here. Also, the virtual audio cable, or VAC1 in Thetas, was configured to use the ASIO driver and to have voice meter virtual ASIO as input and output. By that, I mean that if we go into setup and go into the audio tab, we see under VAC1, which is enabled, the driver is ASIO, and the voice meter virtual ASIO is used for input and output. Having said that, those are the virtual audio sources coming in, and if we go into WSJTX and go here to settings, we'll see that the audio tab shows voice meter aux output and voice meter aux input. So that is corresponding to the virtual audio outputs of voice meter banana. So once we have that, we are able to get data coming, coming through FT8 data. Notice one thing interesting, that RX1, the volume, is set to 20. If we increase it, say, to 100, we'll notice here that our volume starts showing red up on the left-hand side. In other words, it's too high. So if we lower this fellow, say down to 20, 
and then we go over to WSJTX, we notice that this now is showing green. It's not pegging the, the needle, if you will, to show red. And the other thing to note in passing is if we go ahead and mute the Theta software, the data stops going. We stopped hearing it, but not only that, WSJT starts not showing any good data anymore. It's a frozen frame, which will reset in a minute as soon as the 15 second frame is done, and we'll start seeing noise coming up, as shown here. So essentially at this point, we don't have a signal coming in because we have muted Thetas. As soon as we unmute it, we start hearing the sound, and we start seeing in WSJTX the resumption of the streaming of the data. So that actually starts to make sense now how data is actually coming in to uh, Anan G2. It is processed there through all these uh, series of noise blankers, noise reductors, uh, notch filters, automatic notch filters, and then we eventually go into WSJTX using the software called Voice Meter Banana, which is again, call it a patch panel, call it a mixing board in software, whatever you will. It's a very useful way of actually channeling the data. So hopefully that was interesting and useful to you. And that is, again, by no means a very thorough explanation of the data flow or the signal flow. And again, when we're talking digital data, we're really talking about audio data as an FT8. And uh, it was not meant to be a very technical one, but hopefully it gives uh, an idea of the logic of how the, the sounds stream through the G2, Theta software, voice meter banana, and over into WSJTX.